Hello, welcome back to the channel or welcome to the channel. My name's Chris and tonight we're gonna to be imaging M63, the Sunflower Galaxy. This is what's called a flocculent galaxy and that's because the spiral structure isn't really well defined. It's a flocculent kind of means fluffy. So it's a fluffy galaxy. It looks a bit like a sunflower. Last time I was out, I was imaging with the Evo Star 120 achromatic refractor and I've popped that back on the trusty old EQ5 and popped the Stellar Lyra F4 imaging Newtonian on the Ioptron Gem 45 mount and I'm going to be testing it out basically. This will be its first proper light tonight. I've settled on 1 minute 45 seconds for the exposures and, uh, and that's in an attempt to keep the, the stars quite nice and round. Uh, so yeah, no long exposures, but then again, it is really sucking in a lot of light. I'm using the Optalon L Pro filter and even with that filter in, after one minute 45 exposure, the, the screen's fairly bright. Now, if I compare that to the Evo Star the other night, which was a lot of fun, but I was at f8.3, two minute exposures. The screen was very dark when the two minute exposure popped up on the screen with the same filter. So this is obviously sucking in a lot of light for its focal length. I may not need long exposures to bring out that detail. I'm quietly optimistic. Well, not quietly, because I'm speaking to the camera. But yeah, we'll, see, <laughs> we'll just see how it, how it looks at the end, won't we, I guess. The proof will be in the pudding. Now, the other thing I need to own up to is the fact that uh, I'm not using a coma corrector tonight. And that's because I ordered some spacers to go on the coma corrector to get the correct back spacing, but they've still not arrived. They're just kind of, this, the post's being quite slow at the moment, I think. So I just thought, sod it. Let's just see how it goes with the, without the coma corrector, because I'm gonna be cropping quite heavily anyway to focus on that galaxy that's in the middle of the frame. The backstory for these telescopes is that they're made by Zhengsheng Optical in Taiwan. I don't know if I pronounced that correctly, to be honest. When they first came out, the, the, the mirror cells, the, the springs weren't particularly strong. So people were having like quite a lot of collimation issues with these fast F4s, the GSO ones, but I think they must have improved them because this is ACE, it's been through the post. It seemed fairly 95% collimated when it arrived. And, um, you know, I've took it down, dismounted it, put it back on again, and it seems like the collimation's okay. So I'm having a blast at the moment, just trying different things. And uh, yeah, I'm just really happy to play about with different bits of kit. I'm lucky to do so. And I'm really fortunate that I can share that with you guys. So I've come back outside and noticed the battery is uh, it's almost depleted now. So I'm just going to let that completely run dry and then pack up. But first light and two sat days in a row with clear skies. So definitely not moaning. And whatever I've got, I'll, I'll show on the screen how many subs and how long they are. So you can see how much data has kind of gone into the final image. So you can judge it on that. Now, I did have a bit of, bit of cloud when I first came out. So I thought that was going to end things, but it does turn out it's the, the, the camera's battery that's going to put end to things. But I'm not too worried. I'm, I'm actually really tired. I ran, I ran 18 kilometers earlier and uh, <laughs> It's kind of made me feel a bit sleepy. Uh, so I'm going to pack up and go to bed anyway, I think. The battery is just kind of an excuse. <laughs> As always, thanks so much for watching, everyone. And a special thank you to Dan the Man, Four Grapples and Ziggy Friends, my channel members. And until next time, remember, tell those clouds to sod off. <laughs>